Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at how we change the subject of a formula, uh, also known as just rearranging the formula. Um, this time I'm going to use the flow charts. This is more for uh, foundation students. Um, if you haven't seen the flow chart before and used a balance method, have a look at my other video on rearranging which uses the balance method. But if you're used to using the flow chart, you're definitely in the right place because this is what we're uh, going to be using to solve or rearrange these uh, equations. So it's a little bit different to solving equations because I've got different variables. I've got A's, W's and D's in the first example here. So what I'm going to do is rearrange it in these cases to make W the subject, which just means W equals and then something. Okay, so we're going to use the flow chart like so. If I want to make W the subject, I start off with W and then I have a look what, and see what I do to it. So I've got 2W here. So I'm going to times W by 2 first, then I add D, and then my answer equals A. Okay, so that's the first bit of the flow chart. I've got W, I times it by 2, I add D, and I get A. If this doesn't make any sense, have a look at solving equations when I use the flow chart, and that should obviously help you when it comes to doing this. Then all I do is go backwards, so I go A, and I do the opposite, so instead of adding D, I minus D. Instead of times in by 2, I divide by 2, and I get back to W. Then all I do is write that out. So I've got A, I take away D, and I divide by 2. Now what some people do is put a little divide by 2 there. Now don't do that, because then you're just dividing D by 2, and that's not correct. All you need to do is just divide everything by 2, and then that equals W. So you've now made W the subject, because it's W equals this. Let's have a go at this one then. Again, there's my W. So I'm going to start off my flow chart with W, and I times W by 4D. So I times by 4D, and I get the H there. I go backwards. And instead of times in by 4D, I'm just going to divide by 4D, and that gets me to W. So again, let's write this out. Going backwards, I start off with the H, and I divide. So there we go, there's my divide line by 4D, and that equals W. Next one, let's have a look at this one then. So again, there's my W, so I'm going to draw the flow chart. What's the first thing I do? Well, I need to add t before I can divide by 4. So I add t first, then I divide by 4, then I get the answer because that equals h. Go backwards, start off with h. Instead of dividing by 4, I do the opposite and times by 4. Instead of adding t, I take away t, and then I get back to w. And all I do is write it out. So there's my h. I times by 4. Well, 4 times h is... 4h, take away t, so take away t, and then that equals w. Simple as that. Okay, halfway, let's have a go at example 4. There's my w. What do I do to it first? Well, I divide by b, and then I take away t, and I end up with c. So again, if this isn't making sense of the flowchart, check out my... Uh, solving equations using flowchart, that should help. Go backwards, so do the opposite. Instead of taking away t, I add t. Instead of dividing by b, I times by b, and I get back to w. So what does that look like? Let's have a go. I start off with c, I'll write it up here. There's c, I add t, I then times by b. So I need to times all of this by b. So if I stick that in brackets, and then put B on the outside, it means I'm doing B times everything inside that bracket. So that's one thing to be aware of. And of course, then that equals W. OK. Next one, let's have a look at this one then. So there's my W. So again, start off with the flow chart. This time I've got W, I times it by 2. And don't be put off by this uh, A squared, because what I'm doing is minusing A squared. So all I do is minus A squared, and then I get F. So go backwards, f, and instead of taking away a squared, I just add a squared. And instead of times in by 2, I divide by 2, and then I get back to w. So let's write it out. 
there's f, I add a squared, I then divide everything by 2, and then I get w. Last one here, just a nice little one to finish off. There's my w, so I've got my w. What do I do to it? I add s squared, so add s squared, and I get y, so nice and easy. Back I go, minus s squared, and I get w. So write it out, I have y, I minus s squared, and then it equals w. So just a nice little one there to finish. Okay, so hopefully that helps, guys. And uh, any questions, obviously ask your teachers. Cheers.